afternoon. Hello, welcome. My name is Taka Lamanna. I am from School of Public Health, College of Health Science, Addis Ababa University. This is a video abstract for a research entitled Factors Associated with HIV Counseling and Testing and its Correlation with Sexual Behaviors Among Teachers and Students in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. To begin with the background, HIV AIDS is a global crisis. Uh, crisis with consequences that will be felt for decades to come. It is a critical development issue that affects the lives of many people. Ethiopia, with adult prevalence of over 1%, is one of the most affected countries in the world. For instance, the HIV related uh, deaths for the year 2030 was 45,200, with nearly 1 million orphans for the same year. Although HIV counseling and testing strategy is one of the most uh, promoted, the HIV counseling and testing uh, practice in Ethiopia seems very low. As various studies conducted in Ethiopia showed, about 60% of adult population are not tested for HIV. Moreover, although the ABC rules are promoted highly in the country, it is practiced particularly among young population is very low, especially among students and teachers who are highly concentrated in the education sector. In addition, teachers are usually uh, expressed as highly vulnerable to HIV AIDS because the teaching profession by itself is young as well as the teachers and the teachers in primary and secondary schools are highly affected by HIV AIDS and they are highly affected age group compared with the general population. Consequently, a comparative cross-sectional study was conducted among teachers in 2013. Uh, a multi-state sampling technique was also employed. Accordingly, in order to get a sample size of 1,136, various strategies or studies were done. Of 1,136 uh, study participants, 1,034 or 91% filled the teachers complete the self-administered questionnaires. The, pro the proportion of teachers who had been tested for HIV in, in the study area is 71.5%. Multiple logistic regression was analysis showed that being male in gender was uh, associated with a 37% decrease in HIV counseling and testing when compared with uh, the female teachers. Many teachers were less likely to have undergone HIV testing when compared with married uh, unmarried ones. Age being greater than 45, HCT related knowledge and the perceived risk are associated with uh, HCT. In addition, those teachers who never had HCT were more likely to have multiple sexual partners, but those teachers who had ever been tested for HIV were less likely to have used the condom in constant consistently compared to those who never tested. In conclusion, no significant difference among primary and secondary school teachers was identified as far as factors associated with HIV counseling and testing and its correlation with risk sexual behavior and that the character are concerning. In addition, correlations among being uh, faithful to a partner in constant condom use and HCD uptake of teachers were also observed. Gender, age, marital status, knowledge of HCT and the perceived risk were found as factors associated with HIV counseling and testing. Thus, strengthening the current practice of HCT service in education sector uh, with due emphasis to factors associated could play a pivotal role in bringing positive changes in sexual behaviors of the school community. Thank you very much for your attention.